Should I stop talking? Yeah, go on. But what's to see? I don't know what to see. This is Granny on the 14th of December, 1982. So what's new? Nothing new. So what did Hattie have to say in the letter? She's poor. Well, it's a lovely letter. Did you just go on with that? Have you read it? It's possible. Dear Mum, we wish you a very happy birthday and wish I could say I am better. I have just awful pains and I just can't get better. That's it. Yes. I wish I could come to see you, but with these pains I can't. So keep well. Lots of love, Hattie and Lloyd. Well, she'll get better. She'll come and see you soon. I hope so. There's always something, you know. Of course. <sighs> Everybody has something. Some problem. But our problem is... You see, you wouldn't know the difference, darling. You hope you have problems and get over it. You go to the problems and then go to sunshine and get a few better. And then you get again troubles. <laughs> and then... So, as the world goes on, so then there's a good poor day. Chara, Chara. Um, last Thursday. Now then, what can I send there, the poor kid? I can't see it. I don't think she'll come Christmas now. Listen, I've got some extra money for you. <coughs> Give me that uh, bag of mine, the press. Where yes, is it? There, in that little place. In there? Yeah. You see it, uh, see if it's in a bag or something. Is this where you keep your life savings? That's my life saving, right? <laughs> but yeah, you, well, you must have thousands in here. Who? You. Ah. Well, you've lived a long time. You must have saved a lot of money. I, 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 I should have to do it. I mean, the money will never, never affect me. I mean, I never bother about the money. So long as I could pay my way, that's all. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's what matters. Was that two pounds? Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and That's hard to Thank you, Granny. Oh, you're welcome. We'll get them something nice. Yeah, will get something nice for yourself. For them, not for uh, me. Uh, eh? For the kids. Yeah. Well, a couple of double-deckers. Yeah. Maybe not two. Mmm. Now that another year is nearly finished. It's the 14th of December. Yes, yes. Well, I mustn't say that. It's a miracle I live, really, I live so long. Miracle. Most of it, the foundation was very, very strong. You know, the bringing up of hard. We ate bread without butter and, and uh, black bread and, and a herring that was like a lu luxurious. And you wonderful to get up, to get well with that and you get strong as well. If I would have luxuries, I don't think I would be that strong. Would I? No. I think, I think that's a good... Hey? I think that's a good point. Yes, yes. I think so as well. To our soup, the dishes, you know. We used to have a lot of that. Cheap and good. A black bread, sometimes I have a bit of... Something to put on and something to do without. Nothing has been brought up. There's no luxury nowadays. Yes, yeah, but they live, they live in a luxury and they, they die young. Isn't it? That's right. That's very true. Yes. And then what news then? What um, news? So you got what? You got two pounds for the children? Yes. And you got two double deckers? Two double deckers? No, nothing else. No, we don't need anything else. No. What, what else do we need? Say something to Cara. Dear Cara, I wish you get better soon, darling, and I'll come to the granny, because I would love to see you again soon. And don't worry, you'll soon be better, my darling. 
And I love you very, very much, darling. Look like. Love the children. The beauty. I wish them they were well. I thought they'll come to give you them. Never mind, darling. Well, all being well next week. Yes, so all being well next week. Yes. Christmas Eve. Dad, yes. Dad, Dad will come on Thursday. Hey. Dad will come on Thursday. Yeah. Bring your watch back. What? He's going to bring your watch. Your watch is oh, ready. Oh, my watch. Listen, I, I, lost I, had, it. I had a watch. Somebody went to a watch, you know. Where is it? Where is that watch? <coughs> Don't know where to put it. Who lent you it? Fellas, on New Zealand. Oh, your boyfriend? My boyfriend. <laughs> so you kept it a secret from us? Yes. It won't be very long now. The, all the secrets are the worst. And then they know all about it. Then has got a young man and she's getting engaged and next year she's getting married. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Ah, oh, darling, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll, be, it'll be all over Leeds now when we get back. Yeah. I might ring the Jewish Gazette. That's right, that's right. That will do. Well, there's, uh, there's all this big getting married. There's plenty of shit going in the world. So what are you doing today? Today I'm going to go back to the office soon. I've got to go to the office. Go to the office. Yeah, when you finish it then. And then uh, I'm, I'm finishing it. Give a message to Louise. Good afternoon, Louise, darling. So look at the camera then. Good afternoon, Louise. How are you, sweetheart? Are you ready for Christmas? Are you got the carols ready? <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> the carols? The carols. When you sing, you have it on the vibe on the transmitter and now they will be hear you singing. And I'll say to everybody, this is this is my car who sings that. I don't believe it's gonna get so quick. This year go. Has it gone quicker than any other? Yes. Well, I think it has. Do you think so? I think so. Uh, you have, are you hungry, darling? Pardon? Are you, are you hungry? I'm starving, but I'm not eating anything. You're going to home? I'm, uh, I'll have something tonight. Where? I'm trying to lose weight. Because I'm playing squash. I don't, I'm too fat. I mean, I don't look it, but... Where are you too fat? Just a bit. Ah. <coughs> I'm an old man. I'm over 30. Yeah, an old man. I'm 31. Uh, you're a very, very young, young, young man. They want me in it. Eh? What? They want me. I'm young and handsome. <laughs> there we are. Better than anything in the world. Is it? Yes. To hold your arm. Um, That's you lovely, Granny. Poor Granny. Poor Granny is still here. <laughs> Do you know when you was born? Well, I didn't. I never thought it's a boy. I thought it's another girl. Did you? The third girl. Well, I didn't want to say that. So I remember the old say. This time you you carry different all together, says you'll have a boy. I said, don't keep myself, I'll have a boy, I'll never have a boy. And then it's cool. They had to convince me to turn and pick the uh, his gun up to show me whether it's a boy or a girl. Then I believed him. And he was a boy. And he was a boy. Did you want a boy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I terrorized you, good. Not me. It's what You mean dad? Dad, yes. So how old were you when you had him? Oh, very young, was uh, the 30s, in 30s. Late 30s? Yeah. I thought you were in your early 40s when you had him. No, I don't think so. I thought you were 41 or something. What did that? I got about the ages. 
So did you think did you think Julie and Hetty would be girls? Did you expect them to be girls? Right. When you had Julie, did you, did you think she'd be a girl? I didn't mind the first girl, but when it comes to second. Did you want Hetty to be a boy? Yeah, uh, I, I want Hetty to be a boy. So were you a bit disappointed? No, then you get over it. It was lovely, just to have them two together. And then... How did they grow up together? Were they friends? Oh, yes, I scratched their friends, kissing each other, but they loved each other. And then so when were, you were born... Not me. Uh, you, you put in 25 years on me, I'm not that old. <laughs> when Dad was born. When Dad was born. So they were a lot older than him? Well, it's a long time, isn't it? Did they, did they treat him like a baby for, mm. a long, for a long time? Oh. Even when he was older? They adored him. He was... He was the sun and the moon in the world. He was a very bonny father. Did they change his nappy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was very bonny. So you must have been very... Yeah, he about two and a half. Listen. I sat through the night and made in my, in my mind a white suit with the red, the red cuffs and the collar. And I, I, I needed it. Mm -hmm. And it was so beautiful when they put them on. It was a real picture. So I remember putting them on. It was Saturday afternoon. They were going around the park. And everybody looked around, who's that little bonny boy? He was cows, he had cows, oh, he was so bonny. And I had happened, <clears throat> Dr. Samuel was, he's brought him to the world. So he's, he saw him coming out. So he drove us out of the car and he says, I'm surprised at you, why don't you cover the child? He believes in a horror. You know what a horror is? No. A, be, a bad eye on it. Someone puts a bad eye on it. On evil eye? An evil eye. Yeah, because it was so wonderful, so so beautiful. So he should have been covered him up so nobody could see him? <laughs> yes. That's what he said? Yes, I said, don't believe, I don't believe in that. <laughs> and did he really believe in that? He believed in it, yes. A, he was a doctor? He's a doctor and he believed he's a, he's oh. a former doctor. He believes he's superstitious now. If anybody gives you a bad, uh, you know, a kiss on you or something like that. That's right. I says, I don't believe... the lie on you. Yeah. I says, I don't believe in that and I never cook to us. And I didn't. I don't believe in that. I don't either. I never believed in it. But the jury was so bonny. In that particular suit. And we walked around, around the park. They were all over and I knew when they stopped cooking. Who's that lovely boy? He must have been about three years old. Did he feel proud? Ah, oh. heaven. Bet it was the best moment of your life. Exactly. That was my happiest moment. And it was a hard life I got to bring, bring all the children. I didn't have the father wasn't me. I would live with him, you know. Soon I find out it's got a wife, it's got to have a woman with two children, a, a, an English woman. And who, who told me, I don't remember whether you knew her, Mary, friend of mine, Mary. Mary Banks? That's right. She I could, remember her. Go on. Mm. She had so, white hair. That's she right. said, you, I was working in the shop, I never thought of anything. And he was pinching stuff on the shop, my, my shop taken to that woman. And, and how did Mary know? Eh? How did Mary Banks know? She watched him. She knew there's something wrong with him, with me. That keeping him, you know. She knew that he's going with a, with an English woman. When you carry one, one uh, child, carries carry them one box, the size then too. Mm. And, uh, so then, when he came home, and was trying to uh, look in the oven for his dinner. I put all my strength up on her Shoot that bloody dolphin, you're not having nothing here. Clear out. 
Девака шрет лежа от колбуса, колбуса, от сердца. Само да ти иде в гавро, не? И да, я тру, а не го са маги. А он са ми леви, та нове, на году воз. Не на сови. А ке ма ги нова. So how old was Dad then? That was he a baby at that time. Yes, was young, very young. And how did you get on with him before that? Before you found out? With who? With Dad's father. Was it with Jack? He was called. Yeah. How did you get on with him before that time? Uh, very cool. I never loved him. I never liked him. Uh, every moment I had to be with him, I was tortured. Ah, that very miserable till that and that, and I was pleased. Why? Why did you marry him? Why did I marry him? When you don't, you don't know. You know, you believe everybody say he's a good fellow. He always had bread for him. I said, bread is not enough. I have something with bread. No, it will come from the girls and then you have bread. I'm great, you know. So where did you meet him? Who? Did you meet him in Leeds? Yeah. I oh, don't let talk about that. I hate it. Well, you you started talking about yes, it. Yes, but don't don't. Not me. Stop it! Stop it! Talk about something nice. Yes. So then. I heard Dad said Sonia came to see you. Yeah. She came on her own, didn't she? Yes. That's she, marvelous, isn't she's it? She's a lovely girl. She's she's growing up. She's a lovely girl. Growing up quickly. She got a good present. I'm I'm giving her nothing all the time. And I, she came on the train? Yeah. And then she got the bus? Then she got gone back to London. That's, I think that's marvellous. And she's a lovely girl. She's taking a driving test, I think. Yes, yeah, she's supposed to. She'll be. She found a job. She's, she's clever. She wants to go into drama. She wants to be an actress. No, she's going to change her mind yet at her thousand time. Mm. What she's going to be? But she's a lovely girl. It's very nice to speak to. Her. She's sensible. She's not seventeen, you know. She is. She's seventeen. She's seventeen. No, not yet. She is. She was seventeen in July. It's it's been me sixty. No, because you can't you can't you can't learn to drive till you're seventeen. So she must be seventeen. She was taking a test last week. She's seven. She's eighteen next July. Uh, I don't know. Now that that eighteen years has gone by quick. Yes. Doesn't yes, it? Yeah. Yes, the price coming in the wrong. When she was born, you lived in London. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. And I lived there as well. Yes. At Riverside. That's right. <coughs> You weren't happy down there, though, no, were you? No, no, no. You wanted your independence. This is the one to take care of. At last I got it, and I got rid of him, and that's all I wanted. So why have you always wanted your independence? You know, some old people, they live with the families, they live with the, the children. No, I don't. Now, why, why have you never wanted to? No, I want to be independent. I want to work for myself. I want nobody to give me a hand. I want to make my own destiny, you see it. You know what destiny means. Mm. I didn't want any help. When I did, I made it good. I made a uh, with friend, you know, Uncle Taylor. You know, I remember Uncle Taylor. Yeah, of course. He helped me a lot. He was, I never thought of anything, but I used to buy stuff of him. So I didn't have money to pay for the last. That's what he sent me. He already sent another one. So anyway, it gone on and gone on like that till I work myself a bit up. And, uh, then he says, look, Mille, all what I do, I was grumbling, why does it do so much for me? He says, all what I do is not for you. It's for my love. I love you very much. And that when he proposed to me. And he says, I want to marry you. And he says, give me a chance to think. He made me a shock. Ah. 
So how long did you think about it? Well, about a couple of weeks. It didn't take longer now. Yes, but you knew him a long time before that. Oh, yes. And you, been, you knew him nearly all your life, didn't you? Yeah, we've been, uh, we've been in the, uh, in the Jewish Social Democrats. You know, like we have here, so Social Democrats, you know, and then the Jewish Social Democrats. Yes. So I belong to there, and we belong to there. We got to know each other a bit. You know, when they got to know him, he was a very intelligent man, I what they were. Was he? He was a very nice man. He, you know, his, his grandson works for me. Yes. Michael. Which I've, I've heard. He's worked for, since we started the business. I've, he's a good friend of mine. Very good friend. Yeah, well, I'd like to bring him sometimes. I would. You want me to? I yes, love to. Yes. Oh, yeah. He'd love to come. Because I love his father. He'd love to see you. I love his father. His grandfather. Grandfather. Who was his father? His father's Benny. Oh, it's Benny's boy. Benny's boy. Oh, look how many years it's gone by. Bet you haven't seen him for a long time, have you? I see, I tell you when I've seen Benny. I went to the Jewish hospital to see somebody. And there was Benny sitting there. He looked at me and I looked at him, but I wouldn't say anything. He says, if he wants to talk to me, he'll come to me, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> and I... I got it, what I want, you know. It's, he wanted to keep looking, keep looking. When I was trying to look and close my eyes, but still I looked all right. Till it was have to get in the cool. And he says, I know you very well. I says, yes, I've heard about you. I don't know you well, but I've heard about you. I just have been friends, we got friends all till he died. That's Uncle Taylor or Benny are you talking about? Who are you talking about? That's uh, Uncle Taylor. Right. He was a very nice man, Uncle Taylor. He was so you met Uncle Taylor in the Jewish hospital? Yes, yes. So how old were you then? Was that when you were young? I was very young. In your twenties? I had something, I had infections. And nobody was uh, looking after me, so the doctor says, Samuels, says, why don't you go to the Jewish hospital? You'll be attended to. So I says, yes, I'll go, go anywhere. And I went there. And he used to come and they started to be in the flowers and would see, see me. He was mad with me. Was he? Yeah. I don't blame him. Why? <laughs> Why don't you blame him? Because really? you're a nice person. Oh, yes, I was a nice person. I've done nothing wrong, darling, in my life, except good. You did do wrong? No. You smoked for years. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was wrong. That was very wrong. Very wrong, a stick. I used to have a shop then already. So I used to smoke churchmen's, nothing else. Churchmen's? Churchmen's. You know, I wonder how much is churchmen's today? I don't know if they still make them. I don't know. They probably do. It's a very, it was a very good cigarette. I thought you smoked senior, senior service. Oh, that's what before. You smoked those after? After, yes. When I got to each stomach. Ah, uh, you know, you pass by a history, you think, how did you manage my million to go through all that and remain? So, must say that, perhaps you won't say it, so bright in life, I still could talk. I still, the only it? thing, my feet is not so good, I can't walk well. You can't dance. Eh? You can't dance much now. No, I can't dance much. Mm. Uh, Do you remember when I used to live with you at the bungalow in Highmore Crescent? Yes, yes. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. I used to come home from uh, from school at lunchtime 
Do you remember I used to run home? Yeah. Have the lunch and run out to play football. Yeah. Back at the school. Yeah. I remember I looked after you, Henry. Do you remember me looking after you? Of course you? I do. I'll tell you who I remember. You remember Mrs. Tamarin? Not really, no. The Tamarin. I remember Mary Banks. I, I remember that name. Well, it's, in, in, it's, it's on a couple of years before or after. What, what was her first name? Uh, what was her first name? Who did I say, Mary? No. Mrs. Tamarin. Mrs. Tamarin. What was her first name? Do you know who does that go? Can't remember. You know how many years it is? Since you lived in that bungalow? Oh, God. I must have been uh, 12. Well, I was 11. No, I was 10. When I stayed with you, I was, I was 10 years old. Yeah. So that's 21 years ago. Yeah. So you were a spring chicken, you were about 75. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a long time, darling. It is. Oh, you live through such a lot in life that you, you forget, you want to forget the old time at all. It's a long, long time. I tell you, I went through enough in my life. I've heard of it. I know you liked you very much, Uncle Taylor. Did he? Mm -hmm. So yeah. how long is it since he died? Um, Fifteen years or longer? Longer. It will be longer than that. And did you love Uncle Taylor? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, he was a lovely man. He was a gentleman. But why did, you, why did it take so long to marry him? I mean, you got married, didn't you? Because ladies? I got to get through the little Jack. <coughs> no, but you didn't. You didn't marry Uncle Taylor till you were about seventy, didn't you? No. You were. Of course, you were. Are you sure? Yes. Of course. Why is it so late or late? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. I don't know. What's about his? Did his wife die? His oh, first yeah, wife. Yes. Yes, yeah, she died. She died. Because I remember Uncle Taylor coming to the house in the St. Martins. Yes, that's right. He used right. to come for dinner. Yeah. Well, that was, yeah, it was when I was three, two or three years old. That's all. Well, you remember. And it was still another, must have been another seven or eight years after that, before you got married. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. I couldn't get married till I get divorced from you, the one. Uh, that took me a long time to get Did all it? the ADS. Got to approve from the Lord to go and turn all the gang and say, So, what, what's the best holiday you've ever had? And the, the I holidays. used to go away in Little Hampton. I remember that. You remember mm -hmm. that? On a couch? Yes, it's our lodge, you know. Yes. It was a lovely day, so I used to go away. I used to go away and then he used to follow me. Come Who me. used to follow me? Uncle Taylor. Wherever I'd been, I never knew that thing when he was turning around in his ear. He was running after me so much. Oh, yes. I must have been a born a woman. You must have been. You don't remember it, do you? Well, I was, probably wasn't born, was I? I know. I mean, you were, you must have been 65 when I was born. No. Of course. You can't have children so late. No, when I was born. Oh, when you was born. You were 65, you must have been. Because I'm 31 now. It's a whole history of life. Go through. You knew Sandra's father, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Isaac, was it Isaac? Barofsky. Barofsky, yes. Oh, he was a fine little. He was such a lovely fellow, Barofsky. Oh, he used to sing, he used to dance, he used to, oh, full of life. And all of a sudden, he got pneumonia. 
when he died. I went. I've been I went when he was laid in bed. I've seen no nearly a dead man. When I offered I says, Can you get better a physician? I do to uh, to how pay for the expense. So he turns around, the father says, No my darling, don't bother. It's too late for anything. That's what he answered me. The next day he died. Yeah. So give a message to Dad now. To your know Dad? Yeah. Is that going to be recorded or said? Yeah. Ah. Of course. I plenty of rubbish. <coughs> well, it's good. Ah. Go on, tell him what you think of him. Of your dad? Yeah. Who's your dad? Who's my dad? Yeah. Donald. That's right. I think. I think. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does that way. Go on, you give him a message. To who should I give the message? To dad. Tell him what you think of him. To Donald? Yeah. Donald, I love you very, very much. You're a darling. And when I die, your name should be right at the top of the, in the, of the sky, because you are such a lovely fella. And I hope to, he was alive yet. Was he? Hmm? He was alive. Who? Oh. Father. I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a darling. He's coming on Thursday, so you, you can yeah. ask him yeah. when he comes if he is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never loved a fella, a son or a child or a girl, as much as I love father. He's been, he's been my night. My sky, my my eyes, my, everything he was in. Don't know about it. I don't know. His neighbors used to say, You're Donald has been. You're Donald. He used to call him old Donald. You're Donald has been. Where is Donald? He's gone to Haider. Oh. Did he like going to Haider? Yes, he liked it. Did he? Yes. Well, it's a Something you know. Education. Education. Of course. It's like a, a dream, you know, darling. It just passed like a dream. What did? All my life. Just a dream. And I can't believe it. That I'm already going on for what? What am I? You tell me. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. No mystery. How old are you then? I am. To, I am. I'm about eighty. I'm short. Only two years to be a hundred. Two years? Yes. So you're 98? 98. Now, why? Why do you think you're 98? Well, I've been counting all these years, past by, I know. But you've always kept it a secret. Not a secret to myself. So you're 98? 98. You might be 96. No, I might be. I ask the children, they know. They know. Hattie knows. And... Does she? Yeah. All right, then, you're 98. Not a bad last one, I do. Not bad, you've got plenty of time ahead. Eh? You've got your whole life in front of you. Oh, no. No, I know, I haven't. Have you had a yeah. good life? Well, I didn't have a good and I didn't have a bad. Satisfactory? The, the last was satisfactory, I was. Are you pleased with what, what you've done? Yes, I was. I bet let's go through all sorts of life and just grab what you get. 
Do if you have to go through. If you had your time over again, would, would you do anything differently? Is there anything that you no, would have done that you haven't done? Well, if I had a bit more money, I could have, I could have shed around, I could give away, I was very charitable, I could leave my last bite away. I could do more, but I have not got the means, you see. But I, could, I do what I can. Well, that's, that's important. Yes, yes I do what I can. So many people have so many regrets yes. in their life, yes. don't they? They have. I've done impossible things, darling. Impossible. I'm the person who wouldn't, wouldn't carry on and stand for the stand for justice. I stand for anything, but only right. And that's I think life is very important. I wanted to have a talk. It's very really healthy when you have to get your chest. Get it off your chest? Get it off the chest. Yes. So you'll soon be getting plenty of birthday cards. Yeah. How's Julie? She's fine, she's got, they're going away as well. What, with Winston? Is she going? No, Julia. Where's she going? She's going with her friend. Where? She just, she's only just been away. And she's going again for, say, for Christmas. Where's she going? She told me I don't know if I got. Abroad? Is she going abroad? Uh, very likely, I think so. Something in the world had such a love as I have for Donald. It's something so incredible. It took a half of my heart away with you. So I love you. Are you, is that recording? No. <laughs> Do you want it to? No. 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 And why, why do you think you love him so much? I don't know. It's because he's your son. No, because he gave me such a lot of service when he was young. Is that why? <laughs> That's why. Really? Yes. Oh, I love service. I, I, I lay in bed on a thing. What did he do? He got aggravation. I used to have from Come on, tell me something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You mean when he was a boy? Or when he was older? I stopped when he was about 12. But till, till 12, he was terrible. He done plenty. What did he do? What did he do? He got a bit older, 12. He went and got a job for 50 shillings a week. And he collected for a couple of weeks. And I keep asking, where's my money? Where's my money? Oh, I forgot, so I was used, made all the schools, and what is done with the money? He went to the Liz Grand Theater, and he bought six tickets for the opera. Of the, to the Grand Theater? Yeah. But every save dope he spent it. Yeah. So, one Friday night I got suspicions, I go to watch him, what is he doing? Friday night I used to put on different clothes and wash himself and cover himself again. And go away, you know, to meet there. So uh, I, I stopped him. I says, "Come on, I do not sit down with me." I says, "What are you doing with yourself?" And he was always at such a devil. But when it comes to so, he was a smart. He used to give in straight away. I'm sorry, Mama and darling. I'm sorry, I know I've been very bad, I'm sorry. Uh, that's, that's what the mother's love covers everything. And I love him, I love him still, not, not uh, an inch less than I used to have when he was little. And he comes, and he says to me now, Mom, I can't come next week, I'll come and look after. So I've got a tear in my heart. 
and I talked about it. doing it again on me. <laughs> but it's coming on Thursday. Eh? It's coming on Thursday. If he won't change his mind. Why do you think he could? He's supposed to come come here today. Today? Yeah, well, you mean at the week last week? Last week, last weekend. Well, he hasn't been well. <coughs> I think he's had a virus. Mm. It's a lot better now. I'm sure of that. Look. So I'm sure he'll. I only wish him well. Listen, I can't. I can't always be behind him, you know. I have to stand on his feet. He look well. I have to look after himself. I used to used to make me so such a choice, you know. And I never hid them. All at once I hid them in the police station. I'll never forget. What was he in the police station for? He had a fair pal. He called Woodrow, I don't know whether he knows him or what. Woodrow, they were pals, you know. We grown up together. So what did they do? They said, I'm in the house. So they come through the window and find some paper on the floor. I don't know what this is. And I was coming out, the police caught him. And they thought they got over him. He slept in the police station. And I was in shop, I had my shop. So two police comes, and when I saw the police, I knew Donald was in trouble. So I gave a shout, there's my Donald. So I says, he said, come, he said, Mrs. will tell you if you can it so. I said, tell me where my Donald is. He says, he's in the police station. So I said, I'm going. I said, come, we'll take you, to get the car outside. And he brought me to the police station. It was him and his friend, Woodrow, as I told you. They both been together, climbing in the empty house. And they come, so I went to the police station. And they brought down to him from the top. He was sad there. Full the face, full the chocolate as with. And yeah, they gave him chocolate, and he was living at all. That was I was feeling myself on worry and he was living at top. So yeah. how old was he then? He must have been about 12. What, did they let him off? Oh, yes. Do nothing, you know. <coughs> yes, he said, I don't know, I do nothing wrong. It's only like a child, child playing, playing with papers. What do you keep him for here? You have to be ashamed of yourself. Big fellas like you, even around like him, he hasn't done nothing. Anyway, I think you are hearing him, I know. So he says, let, let it go, the mother of the child. So I brought him home. Since then, he just gave him a clap on his head and it's got better and better and better till he become a real man, you know. And, uh, it seems that it was all right. I'm not true. But I've learned it so well when he was young. Anything happened, he's straight, it's Donald, Donald, and they blame my eldest Donald. But I can't talk again, I have to take it from that. <laughs> It's a lot a long time in the past. Hey? That's 40 years ago. Yeah. He hasn't been but so bad since. You, you know what they say? Remember it's in the zone. Of course. Ah. So what's the weather been like here? Has it been cold? Uh, mixed, uh, not so cold, not so warm. It's cold outside, you see, is mm. it? It is, yeah. It's not as cold as yesterday, it was very frosty. Oh, no. <coughs> what are you doing from here? Go home? No, I'm going to the office. Hey? I'm going to the office, we'll pop into the office. Oh. Then for over to go home? Then I'll go home a bit later.
And I hope, I hope the child issues all right. So. Kara. What, what's the what's the little boy called? Simon. Hey. Hey. My little boy. Your little boy. What's he called? I what? Go on, try and remember. Begins with J. Hey. J. Jeffrey. No. John. No. Josephy. No. Jenny. 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 Or Jenny. 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 Do you think you'll ever remember it? Yeah, I don't think so. It's a bit. Jenny. It's a hard name. It's an Italian it's, it's name. A... It's Italian. Yes. You'll never remember no. it. No. It's impossible. Have you come off? No, it's, it's a nice name. Yes. It's a lovely Jenny. name. Jenny. Jenny David Louie. Oh, do you know? <laughs> My stack. And what's what's the little girl called? I got a mixture in my head, and you know, which little girl? Mine, the one that's got chicken pox. Oh, Jenny. No, that's Jenny. No, that's the boy. Louise. That's my wife, Louise. Uh, I remember it's terrible. Cara. Cara, that's right.